Tetris, Super Mario Brothers, and Nintendogs. Three very different games, three very different genres. In fact, when it comes to the games themselves, it's hard to conceive any reason you'd want to lump them together. But as it turns out, block twisting, mushroom stomping, and and puppy training have at least one thing in common. Each is the foundation of one of the best-selling video games, like, ever. And if you're surprised to hear Nintendogs mentioned in the same breath as such legendary best-sellers, don't be. The original Nintendogs has sold roughly 25 million copies since its 2005 debut, and perhaps more importantly, it's often credited as the game that sold people on Nintendo's bizarre new dual-screen handheld. The original DS only took off and became a retail juggernaut after Nintendogs opened the door. Fast forward six years to the present, and Nintendo's trying to do the same thing. They're hoping the drool strikes twice, so to speak. They're hoping their touchable, lovable, virtual puppies can again sell consumers on their quirky new portable. This is Nintendogs, only this time, plus cats. You have to love that title, it's just, it's so self-explanatory. This is Nintendogs with cats. The problem is how literal that title really is. I mean, as far as I can tell, the cats are the only thing that was plussed in Nintendogs plus cats. Actually, you know what, I take that back. Although I can't speak for the retail release at large, our copy is actually pretty special. I should have guessed this when I when I noticed the instruction booklet was written in Old Norse and bound with leather, but our copy of Nintendogs Plus Cats, it seems to have been forged in Valhalla by the by the great hammer of Thor himself. I give you Toki, the Scandinavian Shiba Inu with a bad hat and a, and a worse attitude. In fact, he only knows two tricks. He can poop fire, and he can play Ensafirum songs on guitar. And sit down. He can... he can sit down, too. And basically, that's the whole point of Nintendogs plus cats. It's a pet simulator, which means you're training, playing, washing, feeding, and even picking up poop. You do all this stuff with the hardware features that put the DS in 3DS. Interacting with your pet is done almost entirely by voice and touch, and actually it really creates a bond between you and your little pet. Until she rolls around in her own pee. Come on, Toki! Now, there isn't much structure to the game either, it's very open in terms of the objectives it provides you. You're free to train your pet for competitions if you want, if you're, a, if you're an overachiever, or you could just play dress up and eat and sleep and poop. You can play Nintendogs plus cats however you want, and in most cases, your puppy or kitten is just happy to see you. Shake. Of course, if you played the original Nintendogs, not much of this is probably sounding new to you. That's because it isn't. Nintendogs plus cats stays on the leash. It doesn't stray very far from the template of its predecessor, adding just cats and a few 3DS specific features, like street pass functionality and the ability to take photos with your AR cards and your pets. Otherwise though, there's, there's not much in this kennel you haven't already seen. Look, there's no question this is a well-made, addictive game that just oozes charm like like puppy drool. The question is, is it worth the upgrade if you've already played the original? If you haven't and you're looking for a great launch game for your 3DS, Nintendogs Plus Cats is an easy recommendation. But if you've already done the whole virtual pet thing and you're hoping for something new, this might not be the pet you're looking for. Nintendogs Plus Cats may not be an old dog, but it hasn't learned any new tricks either.